What's up YouTube? This is going to be a, a setup slash very quick review of my equipment. Uh, it's a 7x16 look enclosed trailer. I got it new. Um, it has trailer brakes. It seems to work very nice. This is the left hand side of it. I have the Skag 52 inch Tiger Cat right here next to it. So I pretty much butt up the mower to the left hand side so as soon as I back out I have access to all my tools and the trailer I never really cleaned it out after setting it up I have a nice walkway right here so the hand tools this is my favorite weed whacker ever it is the Red Max and the number is 230 and it's fantastic it runs like a champ it's a great um, ratio of power versus uh, weight and I love it this here is a Red Max multi-tool here's the number on it I have uh, currently I have the stick edger on it over here I have I guess it's a four foot extension I've got the, the hedge trimmers the pull saw and I guess that's it with, with the extension and it's been pretty good um, that machine as well as this edger it's the commercial edger that they have and it's a uh, here's the numbers that I'm in but they haven't really been that great to tell you the truth this one has been crap um, I think I did one hedge job with it and then the carburetor came out of adjustment. I brought it back there. There's two emissions plugs that they have to pull out and adjust. They tuned it right back and it's lasted for like three hedges. Then it comes out of adjustment again in there, the EPA proof things. And uh, you can pull the plugs out and get a little flat head in there, but it's a super pain in the ass. It's a, a bullshit carburetor. And I think he said that they're the same engine and they've both had the problems that now the hedger is kind of screwed right now I probably just need a new carburetor for it because it comes out of adjustment that that often but the multi-tool um, seems to be working pretty good and it hasn't needed to be adjusted in a while this is before I had my lawn business I had um, this weed whacker just for personal use around my house and it's good i mean it, it's light um wasn't that expensive it's the uh 2350s and it's not bad the only complaint that i have about it is sometimes right here the spark plug uh my forearm uh touches that and it gets kind of hot right there versus whatever this setup is uh I kind of use my forearm as leverage when weed whacking different ways, and it doesn't get hot, so that's great. But that, that's a good uh, good backup to have, or if I bring anybody with me, works good. Um, so I bungee tied them to the walls just so they don't uh, so just so they don't really go anywhere. Uh, got the um, shovels, rakes. Uh, that that steel chain. So I used to work at a small engine shop that uh, sells are sold still and I picked this one up for a good deal new and it oh man I just love the steel chainsaw you it's like the gas just doesn't go bad in them they start every time and uh, same thing with that plenty of power I love it it's a 16 inch MS 250 um, love that chainsaw so then we have this blower it's the the 7500 and I love this blower too. If you look at one of my other videos, I take this and I'm on a skateboard and I point it backwards and floor it and it, uh, it gets me going real fast on the skateboard. It's super powerful. It's great. It starts every time. Runs like a top. I uh, love it. So I have that hanging on the wall with some hooks right here. And then I've got this just in a uh something like that to keep it vertical just to keep the space down 
So I have a nice walkway through here. Sorry, the lighting's shitty. I guess I could open up the trailer. It's starting to slow down raining. Um, so here's the the Skag Tiger Cat, 52 inch. I like it a lot. I think I think I paid around like 8,300 bucks for it or something new. And uh, it's been great. This suspension seat here, oh, it's a must-have. I, I got this uh, Dixie Chopper here. No suspension seat, just beats the shit out of you. It sucks. Um, but yeah, it is, it's got these uh, anti-scalp wheels here and over there. And I think one in the back, maybe maybe two in the back, I don't know. Um, you got to watch it with this thing. It, it'll scalp. And I know the wider the deck, the easier it is to scalp. But... Uh, I don't, I don't scalp with it anymore, but when I first started cutting, you know, I did a couple good scalpings. But I like it. The thing's great. It's um, very well built and solid. I haven't had any problems with it. Don't have that many hours on it. I only cut like 10 yards right now just because uh, it's kind of like my third job. Um, so here is the Dixie Chopper, it's a 34 inch. It has a 27 horsepower Generac on it. Um, th this one is the, the Kawasaki, it's a, a 22 horsepower, I just can't see that. Yeah, it's a, a 22 horse, and this thing cuts like a champ, it doesn't really get bogged down. But this little bastard, it's only a 34 inch cut, and it's got the 27 horse Generac and it's awesome um excuse me the only thing you have to watch is um these tires right here they'll slide down in a ditch real quick being as heavy as this thing is and as narrow as it is and i guess that the way that the treads go like this they'll uh they'll slide down like this skag i can get a i can get kind of ballsy with it it's got the the super wide back tire, or you know, the standard width, and it uh, it'll take a an incline or a pitch, whatever you want to say, very well. Versus this one, not so much. But I got it just to go in, uh, pretty much to fit through any fence gate, and it does that well. I, I really don't have all that many yards that I use it on yet. It's a a little bit of an older machine. I traded a guy on the fire department. Um, couple firearms and a couple dollars and uh, I have about 3,000 in money value wrapped up in it so I think I did pretty good I think they're around 6,500 new and they sell for around 3,000 3,500 you know depending on the shape this one's in uh, in good shape and it's only got 240 hours I'm not sure what the scag has. I haven't looked in a while. It's probably around like 40, maybe. Uh, looks like 44. So, um, I also do some pressure washing uh, over here. I, I haven't, uh, like I said, I haven't finished the trailer. I was gonna take some wood and in, enclose this in just kind of box it in on the floor so it doesn't float around um i do some pressure washing i've got this uh honda motor with a cat pump it's four gallons a minute four thousand psi and it does real well i've got a have this surface cleaner here it's a be 20 inch um the only thing that i wish that i would have got was the greasable head right here it does not have that. It was like 400 bucks uh, for this thing. But um, you can replace that bearing, whatever you call it, with a greasable one for I think 115 bucks on eBay. So when it, if, if or when it blows out, oh well, I'll just replace it. Um, so that thing's great. Here is, it's a 17 inch fold out, or 17 foot fold out ladder. Um, I like it. I have the shit all bungee quarters in. You can see that it uh, it just sits there, just perfect. The the mower doesn't hit the pressure washer. Doesn't seem to go anywhere. Got a hose reel here and a garbage can. I decided to go with two shells. <laughs> Not really many people seem to go with two shells here. Um, 
you can see I, that's just my extra blower that I had from uh, just homeowner use. Um, none of this shit's uh, painted or organized or mm, I haven't still got in the stuff that I want to get in and put up there, but I'm just doing a quick video to show y'all. But anyways, I decided to go with two shelves. Haven't seen that much and I like the decision so far. Um, I'll do a quick um, showing of how I built it. I've got this nice uh, lip here. So you can see from the flashlight that it's got that much where it's maybe about an inch, inch and a half where the stuff's not gonna fall forward. But it's um, a really simple build. Um, the walls of the trailer were kind of not flush and you can see that there's like this angle right here. So I just didn't bother messing with the angle and just um, screw the 2x4 into the metal studs and you got to be careful when you're uh, pre-drilling them to not drill through the outside of your trailer because it's uh, pretty easy to do that. So put up two 2x4s and well really I built this bottom one first and I've got, a, I've got this support leg that goes from from there to there and you can see that this is flush right there um, so that's my my main support of it and these are anchored into the studs but it's just a, a pretty simple build I, I built the bottom one this was kind of a bitch to cut I'm really not that much of a carpenter and these uh, the, the walls weren't square I, I know it's not square but they weren't they were kind of just fucked up so anyways on the, on the next shelf I notched it out right there and just supported it same thing and these things are strong I, I could sit on them and do whatever it, it'll take a lot of weight but I really like that shelf design um, that's getting to be about it over here I have a uh, I think it's a 24 foot extension wand and uh, it's a bitch to use because I don't have the, the harness for it. I don't, I'm assuming the harness would help but I don't have that and it does what it needs to do to get off high but it, it's just a bitch to control. I think that's about it. Got any questions? Just leave it in the comments okay oh, I got two little tap lights right up here and over there they do okay I'll show you the outside of the trailer real quick I haven't wrapped it or anything like that yet probably just put a business name and a phone number on there and that's about it see you later YouTube